Hey guys, it's Saturday morning and I am doing some work in the garage on the 350Z today. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to install this new steering wheel. Uh, it came from Poland. I got it on eBay. Um, I know eBay, right? But uh, there's a company out of Poland that makes these custom 350Z steering wheels. It takes a while. You get to pick your colors and your stitching and all that good stuff. And they custom make you one with the OEM wheel. Um, with a nice flat bottom on it and just really stellar job. Workmanship is great. I might reuse my switch plates. Uh, I didn't think they would come with these switch plates. That's kind of a bonus because the picture sh shows that they do not. But they look to be in good shape, but I might switch this one out. I see a little nick right there. If mine are better, I'll use them. No big deal. So this morning I'm going to pull the steering wheel out. I'm going to show you a few things on it and, um, you know, share, share with you some of the things to know about pulling the steering wheel. I'm not a YouTuber, so I'm just going to be, it's going to be kind of rough and not edited and clean, but I'm going to go ahead and record this just in case I get the energy to post this out. Then we can have too much information. So I've got that going on today. And then I also... Got some new spall fans to put on my Mitsubishi or Misho, however you say it, uh, fan shroud. Um, so I may do these today. I may do them tomorrow. I won't talk a lot about that right now because I'm going to focus on the steering wheel in this video. But that's my other project I got sitting on the wings. And I'll talk about that later. Here's the car. Kind of dirty, but still shiny. Um, like I said, we're, we're working on the steering wheel today. Kind of a fun project, obviously. Um, pretty cool thing to work on. I think some of the things I want to point out when you're doing these steering wheels. First step is obviously unplug the negative terminal on the battery. Let it sit a few minutes. Don't want to blow the airbags. Here are the mounting holes. Here's my current steering wheel. And, which is a nice clean shiny what happened is I put these new leather seats in they're kind of a matte finish and look great and then suddenly my steering wheel looked pretty old with that shiny kind of leather look even though it's in good shape so I decided to get a matching cool looking stereo uh, steering wheel you'll see here um, there's a, a bolt that goes on either side that holds the airbag in place I've already taken them out but um, I just want to show you some very critical things about that. Excuse me while I move around here. Look for my stuff. Okay, so the nut that holds this steering wheel in, let me see if I can get that in focus. It's a safety hex. If you look really close, you can see there's a little metal circle or metal barb in the center of the hex nut. Um, and this is to prevent, I guess, theft of the airbag. So you need a special tool to get this out. And if you don't use this tool, it ain't coming out. And I've seen a lot of people strip these, so be very careful. Here is the tool. This big guy, which is your kind of, let me see if I can get it to focus. Come on, man, focus for me. First, I gotta find it. It wants to focus on everything else. Let me come up and see if I can do it this way. There we go. Standard kind of hex deal, but the big deal is in the middle, there's a hole for that little barb. You gotta get this thing or you're not gonna get those out. The, uh, the size of it is, see if I can get that in focus. So you, if you, I bought a set, but I know people just wanna run down by the one they need. There you go, right there. So there's the sizing on it. And you have got to have this to get these things out or you are not gonna make it. So let me climb in the car. So there's one on each side. I've undone the one over here. There's a little plastic thing that'll cover the bolt hole. Just pop it out with a screwdriver, uh, standard stuff. To do like I do, keep a, a little dish and just throw your pieces in there as you're going. So when it comes time to put it all together, you're not looking forever. So I've undone those two bolts. And let me, uh, this is gonna be fun. Let me see if I can get this loose while I hold the camera. There. 
this pops off nice and easy, please. And inside, you're gonna see, there they are. The two airbag wires and clips. And you're gonna take those black things that you see right there and wedge a little screwdriver underneath them and pop them up. So those kind of pop up and then that in turn releases these plugs from the airbag. So I can't do that and hold the phone at the same time, unfortunately, but you get the idea. A little screwdriver underneath that black thing, kind of work it underneath there and pop it up. It'll come up about an eighth of an inch or so. And then the plug will come unplugged from the airbag. Just an FYI, there are two plugs because there are two settings on this airbag, a small accident, big accident setting. So one fires if you know it's a lesser impact. You get a heavier charge if you get a heavier impact. So it's kind of interesting that they actually gave this two speeds, essentially. Um, but I'm gonna get these two things unplugged and then I'll be into the, uh, the steering wheel nut that I'll have to take off to get the wheel off. So I'm gonna have to stop the video now and hope I can edit them together. But I uh, just thought I'd show you that piece and let me go get my, get this airbag off and then we'll start with the next piece. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So here they are popped up. I just thought I'd show you. Um, let me see if I can hold, hold everything and give you a close up of this. That works. Here it is. And all you're doing is putting a little screwdriver underneath this backside here and just popping these little black things up. And then once you do that, and you got them up a little bit, you just reach in and pull them out. No big deal. And out comes the airbag. So I'll show you these clips again. Because you never dealt with them, you just kind of want to see what they look like. See how they're popped up right now? And you, once you put it back in, you just slide it in and push this black thing down and it clicks back into place. Can't mess it up. Orange and yellow. Orange and yellow. So I made it simple. So now all I gotta do to get the steering wheel out, I think there's a few other steps in here as I recall. I gotta unplug this thing on the left. No big deal. It's just a little bit of the instrumentation. And uh, get this bolt off. You can see the little line that aligns it. Make sure you get it in right. Start with everything nice and square with the steering wheel and the steering. Uh, don't move it around. You don't want to mess up the spiral spring or clock spring that's in here for your turn signals and electrical connections. That'll give you a hard a headache. So I'm going to get a big socket, put it on here, this thing, break this loose. Uh, the trick is you take this bolt off, but not all the way off, and then you just kind of gently tap on both sides of the steering wheel to break it loose, but you leave the bolt on so you don't hit yourself in the face with the steering wheel. And once you got it broken loose, you take the nut off and just take off the steering wheel. So not too big a deal to get this thing off, and uh, we'll do that. All right, here comes the, the joy and fun of getting this off. Got a pretty heavy duty wrench, got my socket. I'm sure you can figure out what size it is. I'm just looking to see if I can quickly tell you, but you know, I think you can handle that. But um, yeah, it's this is pretty straightforward. I'm gonna take this sucker off. Um, you need a good wrench because these things are torqued on pretty good for good reason, right? So I need both hands to do this, so I'm gonna cut out right now. Okay, here it is unplugged. You can see the clock spring here. This is the rotating thing that handles all the electrical current into your steering wheel for the horn, cruise, and everything. Here's the steering wheel out. This little gray plug right there. Uh, of course, plugs in right here. And then you just have to, all these clips are different. You just, it's pretty simple. You just have to get, push this thing right here to release it, that little notch deal. You can usually do that with, uh, I use, I can't get my fingers in there. I usually just use a small screwdriver and push down on this little serrated edge and that's enough to uh, get this thing popped out. All right, so I'm done removing the steering wheel. No big deal. And now I'm gonna take the uh, this old steering wheel up to my desk and do some change out of some parts and make sure the new pretty steering wheel is all ready to go. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, here's the old steering wheel that I just pulled out of the car. Still in great shape, shiny. Um, yeah, not a lot of wear on it. 
I'll probably sell this on eBay or Facebook when I'm done with this project because it's perfectly fine, good wheel. Here's my new donor wheel, uh, wrapped in leather. Look at the two of them beside each other. Quite a bit different. You can see that obviously it's got that flat bottom, which I kind of like. The, the little uh, thumb deals are a little more pronounced right here. I like this little cut that they have in there. That adds a little style to it. A lot thicker wheel. The diameter of the actual grip of the wheel is far bigger than the stock, which uh, kind of gives it a nice feel. I like it better. Good feel to it. I'm probably going to do a little gauge switching here, which is no big deal. Um, there's a couple of screws back here, it looks like. Pop off this plastic housing. This one came with a very odd colored plastic housing. But that's okay, because that wasn't part of my purchase. I was surprised they even had this. They just, you know, I'm sure they just got it with whatever donor car, but that wasn't supposed to be included anyway. So I'll take this plastic piece off, put that on. And then I'll take a hard look at these silver deals because really, frankly, this one is in pretty good shape too. They look about the same. I'll take a hard look and just pick the best of the both of these uh, plastic guys. You know, the one thing I do know is this is an unknown. Obviously, it came from car. Everything seems to feel good and work good. This one I do know works. So there's something to be said for that. Um, so more than likely, I'll switch it out and put that one in to to uh, use the one I absolutely am certain is working in my car today. But I think those will probably find also. So that's it, got a little work to do and I'll shoot another video as I get them apart. All right, wrapping up my Saturday morning project, getting the new steering wheel in place. Thought I'd talk about a few little things to, to note before I put the airbag back on. Um, when you're taking apart this steering wheel, there are two screws, one behind here and one by in here to take off these things. But that's just the beginning. You gotta undo that screw and that screw, the right behind here where I'm touching my finger. You'll see it when you pull the steering wheel off. The trick is there's one more screw right there. You see it back behind there? That holds the back piece of plastic on. Uh, the big, This big piece of plastic right here. So uh, you gotta get to that one. And to get to that one, it's pretty straightforward. You just gotta take this one and this one off. This whole metal horn plate comes off. And then you can undo this last screw right here. And then when you get that one off, this black plastic thing will come off nice and easy. And then you'll see on these two, one more screw that uh, holds these on that you have to undo and then they come off. So it's kind of a little like a jigsaw puzzle because you'll, you'll see one screw and one screw. You'll undo those two. You'll start to try and remove this plastic, but it'll hang because that screw's holding it. And you got to take this off, get that screw done, then the black plastic comes off. And then voila, you'll see another screw right here and right here that you now have access to. And you undo these and then these pop off. So uh, just take your time. You'll, you'll get it. You don't have to unscrew those two black ones right there. It's really interesting. Those two right there hold like a lead weight thing that sits at the top of the steering wheel. I have no idea what the function of that is. Someone could probably tell me, but it's like a little lead weight at the top of the steering wheel. And I have no idea what it does. Uh, it doesn't appear to hook or connect. Maybe it has something to do with the grounding for the horn. Uh, that might very well be the case. Maybe it serves as a ground when you press it on this metal plate right here to honk the horn. Maybe that, that plate right there is a ground. Who knows? That was kind of interesting. And also the wiring that comes out of this side deal right here for the cruise and everything. It clips in right here. You need to pay attention to how the wirings run when you originally take it apart because they kind of navigate this wire underneath, uh, underneath this edges and then along the rim of the wheel and then underneath this edge. And then uh, you end up with, where'd it go? With this, this plug wire right here, right? And uh, you just want to pay attention to how the factory did it and repeat what they did. I took a couple of pictures of it as I did it and because I'm not really a great detail person so I've learned that whenever I'm taking something apart to take a lot of pictures just as many more than you think you'll need because <laughs> they save you all the time. So I just take some pictures along the way and then I carefully slowly reassemble it and recheck the pictures and recheck them a second time 
particularly on the wiring, because there's a reason the engineers ran the wire the way they did. Uh, obviously, it's to make sure there's no chafing and that the wires don't bind, um, and they have engineered all that. So I tried to follow exactly how they did it and make sure I'm doing it right. So that's about it. Um, all that remains is to push these in and then push those little plastic deals in that lock it into place. Um, and then the two screws on either side that hold the airbag in place. And that's uh, about it. Oh, and I, you know, of course you have to torque, please use a torque wrench. This is the most important bolt, the steering wheel bolt. It's uh, 25 foot pounds. So, you know, don't guess. Uh, torque it on the 25 foot pound mark obviously you line up that little hash mark with the hash mark on the wheel make sure everything's square when you drive it um, if you get that wrong then you're going to come back in and pull the steering wheel back loose and click it around so definitely pay attention to the centering of the steering wheel not a big deal they have it well marked so it it really shouldn't be a problem for you um, that's about it like I said steering wheel looks freaking great very excited about it I'm going to uh, go ahead and get the airbag in, and maybe I'll shoot one more quick video of it done, um, and we'll call this a project. The uh, Tomorrow, I'm going to probably, maybe tomorrow, how I, it depends how I feel, I'm going to probably do the fan install for the Mishimoto front, and that should be an interesting video. i got a lot to talk about on that one, just some thoughts and comments on the whole situation with that. But I uh, hope this is helpful to someone. I know there's a lot of videos out there about how to do this. So this is probably just yet another one. But you never know. There might be something there that's useful for someone who comes here and wants to get this done. Um, yeah, I love this steering wheel, man. It's just friggin' rocks. So like I said, I'll get the airbag on. I'll do one more video so you can see the seats with the steering wheel. Kind of the whole effect of it. But 1,000% better than the old one. Talk to you later. All right, the installation is complete. I thought I'd just do a quick wrap up. There it is. Uh, with the leather seats and the detailing that I've got in the car now. Um, the seats were from leatherseats.com and professionally installed. Although you could do them yourself. I thought about doing it myself. Um, I think I could have. I just decided to be lazy on those and took them to an upholstery shop and had it done. So uh, yeah, those. I'm very happy with those. Um, I think that the driver's seat I'm a little less happy with. I got a few wrinkles here. Uh, they kind of come and go a little bit, but I think that's not the fault of the upholsterer or leather seats. I think it's just the padding kind of worn out on the seats. Um, so I would recommend if you're putting these in to maybe put some fresh foam in there or a little additional foam just to puff it up because it's a 15 year old car. And I may have, I may go back and have that reworked uh, just for that reason. but. It's, it doesn't bother me that much. It's, it's okay. But yeah, uh, not a Momo. Um, certainly it's the same old Z steering wheel, uh, but uh, a lot nicer leather, nice touches, kind of flat on the bottom, you know, sporty looking, cool looking steering wheel. Um, I'll put a link down below on where you can get this thing from uh, Poland. And uh, if you would like to get one, they have the ones that you see for sale from China that have the carbon fiber on the top, uh, part of the steering wheel, and I think some carbon fiber touches on the bottom as well. And those are cool, I like them, but I just wanted a full leather one, and that was kind of hard to find. Uh, one that was wrapped leather all the way around the wheel. I kind of like this touch of this little band as its own piece of leather that's kind of stitched in there. Very cool, very cool. It's like a separate seam right there where that is. It's the little details that make it neat. No, it's not a Momo, uh, like I said. Uh, fun fact, uh, front driver airbags reduce fatalities by about 25 to 30% according to the National Transportation Board. So guess what? Those things could save your life. 20 to 5% to 30% less deaths because of front airbags. Um, that's a number I like. So, um, you know, even if it's 10%, it's worth it. So if I'm off on my numbers, forgive me, but but I'm a big fan of the airbags and uh, knowing that they've been tested out and they work to spec. And I got a 16 year old that drives this car as well. So, you know, 16 year olds get into wrecks. So I wanna make sure that he survives if something were to happen. I'd feel bad about it if, if I had a Momo in there and something like that happened. So just erring on the safe side.
Um, of course, if you got a four point harness and you had it harnessed in uh, in a race, full race setup, then that works just as good or better than an airbag. So there is a, a way to do it right and not have airbags. And that's a four point harness with a, with a mount behind the driver's seat. And certainly that is a better configuration than the airbag from what I understand. So that would be the one thing I would say would be the exception. But happy to be done with it. Love the wheel, looks great. Looking forward to taking it out for a spin. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm gonna to try to actually put all these videos together and uh, have it where you can watch it as one. Um, but I'm not gonna to spend too much time on it because I'm not a YouTuber and I'm, I'm an old guy. So uh, I'll just give this to you and hope you enjoy the video. See y'all later.